just go straight back. Can I go to resume it to it? Okay, I'm back again. I think this is the free FPS mode for settings. Options. I really wish you didn't have to go so deep into the menu just to change that one setting. It's in every single computer game you have to do that. Well, yeah, this is way better looking. The resolution has been enhanced and other things. I wonder if the wind's different. I don't know if they would have changed something like that, but I just know when I'm looking at the previous version, I just said this in the last video I made, the previous version, the wind kind of looks a bit shit. But maybe it's just more noticeable or something because the graphics aren't as good? I don't know what I'm talking about. I have this problem a lot in games where I just look at graphics and I just don't know what's actually changed but I know that something's changed I better not get used to this 30 frames per second though because as much as it's it's prettier when I wasn't comparing it with the 30 frames I was comparing it with the PS4 version by the way so I mean I'm not comparing the 60 frames yes it looks a bit a little less as attractive as that but you don't really notice it to be honest once you get used to it as I was saying in the last video, it's jarring either way. When you move from 60 to 30, everything seems like it's going slower. But at the same time, it looks more dreamy and cinematic. And usually there's a graphic increase. When you jump back to 60, that can be jarring too. Because everything looks more arcadey looking and the graphics have gone down a wee bit. But I think with this game... Uh, you know, performance mode... Now, in this particular scene, performance mode doesn't look too different. I, I barely notice the difference at all there. Except it feels a bit snap. It feels snappier, which is it's a good thing. It depends. <laughs> Sometimes it's a good thing, other times it's not a good thing. I could go on all day about this, about whether 60 FPS is better. And I've never even played 120 FPS or something like that, so... Jeez, that's just frustrating. I think 60 FPS is better. Once you've got used to it, anyway, it's definitely, it's definitely more snappier. But it does have a kind of arcadey look, I guess. But I don't notice the arcadey effect too much in this game. In something like Spider-Man, yes, it stands out. It looks, 60 FPS to me looks worse. So. This game, and actually I really like both versions in this game. I like the 30 FPS and I like the 60 FPS. It, they really both have nice effects. The 30 FPS really just has a nicer look. But the, the 60 frames make it st stand out better, which also kind of makes it have a nicer look, so... Oh jeez, I have to go back again. I could, be, I could do this all day. I always do this with these fucking 60 FPS crap. I never can make up my bloody mind. <laughs> it's like, so far in this particular scene, I'm not noticing the graphics change that much. It's it's just a standy out feeling. And it's just a matter of preference. Do, do you like it standing out like that? 60 FPS makes things stand out more, I find. That's the way it looks to me. Everything looks more realer than real. Or as real as, or more real just more standy out. It's a, do you know F, 
Do you know what 30 f 60 FPS actually does? In my brain, anyway, it's it's a wee bit like comparing stereoscopic and scopic, <laughs> or I don't know if it's called scopic, but that's what it's like. See, I'm look, I'm comparing that tree, just that one that's right above his head, like that tree there. That's the one I'm looking at the most here. And you know, when I've got that on 60 FPS, it's it's like it stands out more, like it's stereoscopic, like I've opened one eye and now I'm using two eyes. That's what it feels like. I don't know if other people get that, but that's what 60 FPS does for me anyway. And it's also quicker. It feels a bit quicker, but it's, that's what it does. That's what that does. So I've never been able. I've never even thought of it that way before. That's that's a good example. So now that tree has a much more. I don't know. It's more standy outy. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Sometimes that can look arcadey. I think it depends on the graphics of the game. I think it depends on the textures. If the, if a game has got lower textures, then the arcadey effect might be more prominent. But if it's got good textures like this game, then it's not as arcadey looking. It still looks kind of nice. So I think overall I prefer the arcadiness in this game, or let's call it let's call it the 60 FPS. I think, oh god, I don't know. I, I do like the fit that tree, it stands out more, you know, I, I think I like that better. Yeah, anyway, I could, as I said, I think the problem is why I have such a problem with this, is that I keep changing my bloody mind. One minute I like it, then the next minute I don't like it as much, and then I like it again. And it's just, <laughs> I can't have an argument with myself if I keep changing my own position. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, what the heck? No, that doesn't make sense. That's exactly how you have an argument with yourself. By changing your own position. Okay, now I'm confusing myself. I mean, I, I can't make an... Uh, I can't make... I can't come to a conclusion if I keep changing my perspective. Obviously. Right, so, what am I doing in this game, I mean? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm a bit scared for some reason. Why am I scared? Just run over and attack them. Got plenty of help. Okay. I guess I'll save again. Uh, how far did I walk? Am I still at the same spot? Oh yeah, what's that? So I kill these little things. What happens if I fire them with a fire dart at them? Oh no, 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 it doesn't show you, the, most loading times it shows you all these words at the bottom of the screen, right? This loading time only shows you the words at the screen at the very last second, and you don't get to read them, and then I have to end up recording for 15 seconds. See, I didn't get to read that. So, I, t I took a snapshot, but I'll just do a 15 seconds record, which means if I add the 15 seconds record time on top of the loading time, it just takes an extra 15 or 20 odd seconds. No, I wasn't sure about that. I, I went back to the video and read it. Oh, hold on. I didn't know about that. I, I think I read this when I played it a couple of years ago or something. Uh, you can increase your weight carrying ability by putting extra stuff in saddlebags and horse. So I'm glad I read that. But that is very annoying when not, most games, the loading screen shows you, the, shows you the tips. You know, while it's loading, you know. They don't show you the tip just at the last second of the load screen. Luckily, PlayStation has that record feature, so you can go back and watch what you just what you just missed. However, that adds to the that adds to that adds to, if every time it loads, right, and I keep missing what it says at the very end, and I have to record. It takes about five seconds to press the button and then look for the menu and then go into the menu, and then I have to spend 15 seconds to watch it. 
I can't skip the 15 seconds because it just jumps straight to the end and then I miss it, I still miss it. So that takes about 20 extra seconds on top of the load time just to read the fucking tip. Maybe 25 seconds extra. <laughs> I mean, that's the fucking... If there's one thing that's irritating me about this next-gen patch, it is that. It is that thing alone. This game I'm actually liking a lot so far. I don't like the combat, admittedly. It's a, I don't hate it, sorry. I like the combat. I just don't love it. It's not, like, super amazingly accurate. But it is gory and stuff, and the monsters look good. So it, it's not bad, so it's not... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, if there's one bloody thing that's annoying me, it's a fucking load time. It gives you the tips at the very last millisecond, and I'm not a speed reader these days. So what do I do to complete, to shoot these guys? I'm thinking I'll upgrade something, right? I think it's important. I remember watching someone play it once, and one of the first things they did upgrade was this thing. I, I usually don't upgrade things. Like, I'm still, in Cyberpunk, I'm like... I played Cyberpunk before, I played The Witcher. In Cyberpunk, I'm like, that's not true, I played The Witcher first, but only like the first 20 minutes. Uh, but with Cyberpunk, uh, like, I'm like, I've got like loads of skills left. I've got like, I'm like nearly, I've got tons of things. And I usually just keep, in these types of games, I usually just hold them to the very last minute. So that way I can try out different combinations. And also because sometimes I can't be bothered to stop and make choices. <laughs> I just can't be bothered to stop and figure out, make choices, you know, so. But this Exploding Shield one seems like it, since I do seem to be using that one a lot, the protective shield thing. Plus I read that you can, unlike in Cyberpunk, you can use the respect, you can get, you can, you can change this, it doesn't really matter what you pick then, I guess. Can, you can get them all back and then spend them, allocate them differently. So I think this would be a good one, right? I haven't really, I can't really be bothered, right, to read through every single fucking thing. I sort of looked at it a wee bit. So far it's not very balanced, I find. Oh, well, with quick casting, it's not too bad, actually. But often when I want to use Igni, I just end up using Shield because I realize my Shield's down. It's like, fuck's sake, I'm not using Igni enough. I don't use... I don't, take, I don't use that one to loosen that much either. For now, I'll just use Exploding. It also increases the stamina regeneration a wee bit. Why not just pick it, I mean, just pick it. And then place it here. <laughs> That totality thing, I hate the way it disappears when I click it like that. I thought I was... I thought it would still stay there. Right, anyway. No. Is this the same color? No, they're different. My attack car's up now by 5%. Or I can increase my sign percentage by 5%, which would increase it by another 5%, because I've got an extra blue there. So that'd be a total 10% intensity. That's any sign, I assume? So the flame one included? I mean, that would be better. Mm. Does my shield always break, but no matter when anyone attacks it, or does it just depend on its intensity? Because maybe if it's a very intense shield, then it, it takes a certain amount of hits to break the shield, I imagine. That's what I imagine, otherwise intensity wouldn't make much sense for the shield. Right, so I finally used a point, a skill point. 
Admittedly, sometimes it feels good doing that, but other times I get worried. As I said, in Cyberpunk, it's like I've just put, did m the multiple save files in Cyberpunk so I can try out different variations. And it's been so long since I've bloody played Cyberpunk now. It's been like six months or something. I'm gonna I've probably ended up fucking forgotten. Explode Shield barely did anything to that character. Okay, my fighting is just loud as it sucks. I'm trying to remember the buttons that changed the quick cast unit, just making me forget what the hell I'm actually doing. Okay, they blew up. You know what? Oh, do I have to do this every time I... I had them, I had them beat there and it's like, no. I did... I, I got too much damage taken off me. His mission gather As I was saying, I'm worried in Cyberpunk that I've bloody forgotten all the different experiments I did. I recorded them all and put them on YouTube, but... It was, you know, I had a plan for Cyberpunk about two years ago? <laughs> I've been playing Cyberpunk for a million years and I still haven't completed it yet. It's been like six months since I last played it, and then before that it was like another six What was that? Oh, Jesus Christ, for two seconds ago. So... I had to read that thing there, and it said the Swallow Potion regenerates val or vitality inside and outside of combat. I haven't used that yet. And what I was saying the thing though about Cyberpunk was I played it in pieces over the last couple of years. It's been the first hundred hours just driving around, memorizing the map, didn't even do any missions really. I went back to it about a year ago. No, my, was it a year ago? My, my mom died 14 weeks ago, and it's really messed up my perspective on time here. No? Fourteen weeks ago was three months ago. It's been a very confusing time in my life. Anyway, I was playing Cyberpunk a while back anyway. You know what? Do you know what I could find out? By looking at the video diaries. Yeah, I'm stupid. I was looking at fucking videos there over the Witcher and almost forgot. I've got the same I've got videos of Cyberpunk too, so I just checked it and it's uh I was playing like the 26th of July, that was when I last played a proper mission, and then I think I jumped, I skipped a month, played it on the like 21st of August, and did one tiny small mission, like a cyber cycle, and then I think I played it a wee bit in September when I was completely drunk. So pretty much July since I was actually properly playing it, it's very hard to believe my mum passed away. July, August, September, October. Wait, hold on, the end of July, July. August, September, my mom died three months later after I was doing that mission. It's just hard to believe. Anyway. So what am I doing in this? Sometimes I'm happy, but most of the time I'm, or sometimes I'm just a complete suicidal wreck. A number of times I'm alright. Like right now I guess I'm okay enough as long as I keep playing this thinking about computer games. Uh alright, so what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? Um I'm not, I'm not thinking straight, you taste as I said. Ah, what am I doing? <coughs> I forgot what I was about to do. I I, I did the oh, there, there's another really patchy thing on his face there and I noticed the graphics are going all weird and it's that I said I'd like to be asleep at 5 a.m., right? Or is it some, or is it earlier than that? Uh oh, I've forgotten what he was gonna do. So I had eh. Is there something I was gonna do there? Oh damn it. Oh I can't think. I put the signy on. I put the sign me? I mean the sign on. I put the I color coded it, color matched it to increase the sign intensity. I put the exploding shield on. Is that it? That's all I wanted to do? Oh, I know what it was. <laughs> it was this swallow potion. I read about that online, but I don't want to cheat too much or anything, but I have read a good bit about this online, actually. Well, not that much, actually. Things I kind of already half knew, to be honest. It was like, so I haven't really cheated. Or what I consider to be cheating. I don't like cheating in computer games. I just I like figuring it out by myself. But sometimes it's like fuck that. I 
can't be asked. So I did already read about this Fowler potion. Not Fowler. What am I calling it? Not for S S Solomon? Where's that word coming? Where's that word coming from? My brain is just randomly selecting words these days. Solomon Swallow Swallow Potion. Alright, so I have to go to the potions, right? So I don't have that. I'm gonna have to Oh I do have it! I do have it! I do have the potion! <laughs> Right. Well, that's not too bad. Alcohol's really your main component, then. This is a weird game. Every game's a wee bit different. Uh, this is also a bit different from Cyberpunk. But in, so, in this, alcohol's your main unit that you need to keep hold of. You need a certain amount of ingredients to build a potion, but then you get to keep it indefinitely, and then you need alcohol to keep replenishing it. So I already have swallowed this whole time. So I could have, like, replaced... I've got, like, raw meat there, right? But maybe I should put Swallow there instead. Or maybe I'll put Swallow at the bottom. Uh... Yep, I was in the menu and I fucking forgot what I was doing. I literally just said it and then I didn't do it. Uh, so I guess... Actually, that was another thing. That's that's why I was reading this. I just remembered that was the reason I read ahead to understand because I don't understand. It says ten fatality, ten fatality regeneration per enemy killed, right? But that's not the case. When you use raw meat, you get. Oh, hold on. Maybe I was thinking of a different version. Maybe it was different. Maybe it was different on the PS5 version or PS4 version. Uh, no, I think I've turned. No, I used raw meat about an hour ago, did I not? Or was it last night or something? Uh, like. I'm pretty sure it gives you more than 10 vitality. Maybe that means 10 vitality per second. I think that means per second, right? I don't know why it doesn't say it. So it's either 10 vitality over 30 seconds. Which. That's just stupid. That wouldn't be anything. Ten vitality when you're when you when you, yeah, that would be absolutely nothing, and it would take thirty seconds just to give you it. That would be stupid. So it must be ten vitality per second over thirty seconds, which is thirty times ten, which is three hundred. Well, that makes more sense. I was about to do an experiment there, but I don't need to do an experiment. That makes sense. Thirty times ten is three hundred. That's about how much I saw it go up by. Now why would we use two of them now at the same time? Cause should I do an experiment or should I just or should I just Google it? I think I'll just Google that one. Well, this is confusing. It's it's a, in fact like 10, 15 seconds later, it says vitality regeneration does stack no matter what food no matter what you eat drink. Then it goes on to say this is only the top of Google, it's not the actual website. And it goes with that vitality regeneration only stacks if you eat two different types of food two or more different types, but the first sentence says it stacks no matter what you eat. That's literally stating two different statements. Eating and drinking now are not stackable. Oh, that's just 2016. Everything else in the game can stack for stream. Maybe better just to test it. Vitality generation does stack no matter what you drink. Well, that's sort of the opposite statement of literally point number two, saying it does. It only stacks to be two different types of food. Oh, that's theories. Sorry, I didn't read the first bit. After having looked at the question to which the question is flagged as a duplicate, I concluded that there are two contradictions in how stacking works. Two theories that need proof. So these are two theories. I was wondering, I knew that didn't make any sense. How do I will test this when I get home looking at numbers, vitality information on the inventory screen. Right now I bring points to theory two. Since theory one would make you invincible for a short time if you stuff 20 roasted chickens down Carol's throat. Edit two, I confirm theory two. 
Eating one raw meat generated 508 HP over five seconds. Eating one raw meat and one and one cow's meat added two regenerated and carried to the UAI and regenerate 1,432 HP over five seconds. The time the raw meat ran for five seconds while the cow's milk time ran for five seconds. Oh, raw meat used to be five seconds. It must be now ten seconds. What? Now it's thirty seconds. I don't know. Right. This book confirms that different foods have different intensities of regeneration. While raw meat regenerates five hundred eight over five seconds, cow's milk will generate nine hundred twenty-four over thirty seconds. Oddly, drinking cow's milk without eating it at the same time will generate nine hundred thirty-one. Ah, getting confused there. Oh, right. Yeah. If you add the two together, it would be 1,439, but for some reason it added up to 1,432, right? Now he's, so he proved level, so he's, he's confirmed theory two, but he hasn't, why isn't he bothered confirming theory one? That, that's the easiest one to confirm. Well, yes and no, there are three different types of food, able, drinkable, and potion to stack, they stack with each other, they stack with each other, so you can drink cow milk and eat nuts, and these will affect from stack. If you eat one nut and one more one, one meat, remain in healing effect, the nut will vanish. If you eat one nut and then one raw meat, remain in healing. That's probably why his numbers didn't add up perfectly when he was trying to add the two different foods up, because one takes replace over the other one. I guess that's just complicated math for the computer to program, the increase of points. Maybe it's not complicated maps, but for a computer, you know, a computer can do any type of map. But I'm just thinking maybe that's an extra calculation that they, they, couldn't, they couldn't be bothered to program in, or they just didn't feel like it was necessary. So basically one food replaces the other in terms of the regeneration. So you've got 10 seconds regeneration of raw meat left, and then you try to, try to, you decide to eat a nut, then that you'll... You're, You'll still regenerate what you did for the raw meat the first 20 seconds, but you won't regenerate the last 10 seconds, and then you'll start regenerating the raw meat thing. So, in a way, it stacks. Okay, I think I understand now what's happening. So, it would be better to eat raw meat. No, don't eat two. Don't eat two at a time. Basically, eat one, wait 30 seconds, then eat another one. I think that's how it works. And it probably works the same for probably works the same for the potions then that's probably how that works which is a wee bit annoying because then you have to sort of count 30 seconds <laughs> or sort of like figure out when it stopped regenerating you eh. but anyway so raw meat is 10 vitalities over 30 seconds so that's assuming i'm right about this or that guy's right basically Sorry, not me. I, I sort of read it off this other couple of different people answering the same question, right? But that that makes sense. That second answer confirms why the mathematics didn't add up on the first guy's answer. So, uh, I presume probably. So, there's different foods there. So, raw meat's an easy one to get. Right, so, 10 vitality over 30 seconds is... That's 300 points. Right, and then hopefully this one's a lot more. It also puts toxicity into you, so I don't know how long that lasts and stuff, but... That lasts 20 a sex... Sec, 20 a sex? 20 seconds... <laughs> a sex? Yes, please. No, 20... <laughs> 20 seconds... 20 seconds, 40... Generation, so that's 800, right? So, this is 300, and that is 800. And it does it quicker. Yeah, okay. And it pauses when you're receiving damage. Is this pause or anything? Okay, so that's how that works. I'm starting to feel hungry. Oh fuck, food! <laughs> Do I eat before I go to sleep? I guess.
Oh, shit, I need to work out when I'm going to sleep. Hold on. I'm gonna... I'm gonna, like, pause for a second here. Oh, wait, save. Save, save. I cannot save right now. Uh, what, what about over here? Can I save now? Right, I'm gonna pause for a second and figure out what times I need to go to sleep and what time I need to get up tomorrow and shit. Like that. Okay, so I'm back. I have to wait about nine minutes. Put on a pizza, some chicken calves. It might be vegetarian chicken calves. Don't usually eat vegetarian things. But if it tastes like the real deal, maybe I should switch. I don't know. I just picked it up because it was in the reduced section. So. For anyone watching this far into the video, it's like, this is just my video diary. You don't have to keep watching me talk about my food or something. <laughs> like, this is just me playing computer games and I can't help but record into the mic. Uh, so what am I doing now? Uh, the type of thing rules about recording for myself to take note of right now is don't talk too much to the microphone for two reasons. First of all, it's not a real diary. I mean, I don't want to have to like, I make enough, oh, geez. I make enough videos to my webcam, which I'm trying to get out of the habit of because I make too many, I can't actually watch them. Now, because these are video diaries, or because these are computer game diaries, like I'm just playing and talking at the same time, it's better to be casual, you know? I not get into too deep of a conversation, but at the same time, like, I can talk deep if I want, and then just name it differently and say, this is actually an important diary. If I want to start speaking about philosophy, I could just call it, I could just title the video Witcher and commentary about philosophy, and that would keep that simple. As I said, I already make way too many videos on my webcam and shit, just me talking random f ideas that pop into my head. It's like I'm not living a life because I'm just talking to my camera about life. It's like I'm not actually living life anymore. And especially after my mom died, I've just made countless video upon video upon video about how I'm feeling about it, and I'm, I'm never gonna have time to watch any of those videos. But. But it is nice to talk on top of the games because I like look. These I think this is a very good diary system. You know, like as long as it's not too deep, because it's fun to play computer games, and it's fun. And it's like sometimes you think, I wonder what I was thinking that day when I was playing that computer game. So the commentary is kind of handy. But the other reason not to record on these video games is because I'm walking around in circles. I'm not doing anything. I'm just so distracted by my own voice, I'm not actually paying attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> so, there is a, so sometimes I need to learn to shut up. I think, I think the best way to shut up is to force the microphone off, just turn the microphone off. And then I can't talk, you know. So I think I'll turn it off for a second while I actually figure out what the heck it is I'm doing. Right. Oh, for fuck's sake, I missed that thing again. I'll, I'll watch the video of it. Okay, so that was just about the enemy level. Like if it's got a red skull beside it, etc, etc. Necrophage, hide. What's a necrophage compared to a rot... a rot fiend? Uh -oh. Is a rot fiend a type of necrophage? That's the shield. Come on, die. There you go. I should probably go to the beast. I turned off the mic for like one second. <laughs> I should probably go to the beastery, be, beastiary, or whatever it's called. 
oh fuck, I wasn't recording there. I said, am I being, I, said, I was like, I, I fucking went onto the menu screen there while I was talking, shit. I, you, I was making some fun of some guy that kept calling it bestiary, even though it said beast. He was like, oh, I'm gonna look at the beast in the bestiary. And I was like thinking, geez, even if you can't read it, why don't you just work it out? It's in the fucking name. Or am I the one that's kind of giving it the wrong name? Maybe it's called bestiary and I, I'm, I'm like dyslexic or something. I mean, I am a bit dyslexic too. And he also called inventory, inventor, inventory. I'm not getting at him from not being able to read or <clears throat> He sounded like a smart enough guy, just he's obviously a bit dyslexic like me. But the beastiary thing just pissed me off because he's literally saying beast. It's just like, I'm gonna look at the beast in the beastiary. Why did I use my shield twice? Ah, you stupid. Not shit. What do you say what now, you piece of what? <clears throat> so what now, you piece of film? Okay, so... I do like the rewind function on PlayStation and stuff, and other consoles, I guess. It's a wee bit annoying if I use it too much, so it's like, geez, I missed that line, or oh, I missed that line, or oh, I missed that thing. Is that a bird in the sky, or oh, I didn't see it? I'll better rewind and find out. Anyway. So, these things just keep running around. Shield again. I don't know what the two different health bars mean after all this time. Okay, that has to be the most fun now. I am quite enjoying this game. It's just it's taken me so long to get into it. I played it so slowly. I played it a year ago for what was like 10 hours, but I didn't, I think I must have had it on pause or something, because I don't understand how I really played it for that long. Then I tried to get into it a couple of months ago or something, and I couldn't really, I kept getting distracted. It wasn't the game's fault, I just kept getting distracted, and admittedly the the graphics were depressing I me, mean, they weren't as good as I, everyone was going on about them, you know. I mean, it's a dated game, but then I decided I wanted to get back into it, for real, and then I found out this next gen patch is coming, and I thought, okay, now I really want to get it back into it. So, it, but it still took me a wee while, and it was only just uh, like a couple of weeks ago I started getting back into it on the, the PS4 version. I couldn't update to the PS5 because I hadn't got my controller back from a repair shop. It took them five weeks to get me that back. So, I started again a couple of weeks ago on the PS4. I mean, the PS4 version. And this time I managed to play it for longer than an hour <laughs> and actually get some missions done and stuff in White Orchard. And I was a little bit, still a bit disappointed by the graphics, but I was excited by the fact that this next gen version was going to come along. And then with Hangover there over the last few days, because I drank a lot, uh, I finally put on the next gen version and was massively happy with it. It's like the graphics are way better than I thought. The graphic update is way better than I thought it would be. It looks really good. It looks great, like. So, I'm very happy I put off this game for six years. It only cost me four quid. I bought it in, like, 2019 or something. Or something. So I got this game, this awesome game, for, like, four quid or something. Uh, so... I just, so yeah, it took me a ridiculously long time to do White Orchard. It took me three years. Like, just, <laughs> not three years, I mean, two years. I, as I said, I played it for like ten minutes. I didn't say that, but that's what I meant. I was like literally turning the game on, walking a few steps, turning it back off again, putting the, turning it back on like three months later. It was like, oh, for fuck's sake. Kept getting distracted. 
and I didn't understand why it was this game in particular that this kept happening with. Uh, but the graphics were one of the reasons. I swear to God, I couldn't. I wasn't. I was looking at the graphics, just going. Mm. It wasn't giving me much a reason to stay in the game. Do you notice how I'm not even playing it right now? That's because the graphics look so good. I can just talk and just wander about. But I realize this is bad. I just said that a minute ago, like about how I'm talking in the microphone makes me not do anything. I mean, for for example, I've lost track of where the hell I was just standing. I just wandered off from the place, from the area where I was just looting those bloody. Are you fucking kidding me? I just looted those rock, rock fine fangs or whatever the hell they're called, and then I wandered off. And I don't know where I were. Oh, for love of goodness me. Was it there? Was I, were they there? I, I don't know where I just... I was in such a daydream there talking to the camera, to the microphone that I'm not paying attention to what the hell I'm doing. Oh no, now I'm really lost. No wait, this might be it. Does this look like it? I don't know. Oh <laughs> shit. I don't actually know. I'm going to have to watch back the last five minutes of the recording. Alright, I'm back. Yeah, I see what I did. I mean, that PlayStation record function is really handy, like... I was in a complete daydream there. And I just wandered around. So, it was at this house. So I came over the river here. That's that tree I was starting off. I was, was talking about at the start of the video. So, their bodies are gone after a while. Luckily, I picked everything up, according to the video. There's a monster nest I've never actually just... Needs to be destroyed. I'm going to record that, because I... He said rock fiend. I won't bother looking back at recording that. So, you don't have the right bomb. I haven't used bombs yet in this game. That looks kind of real. Well, I guess not real, real, but it looks pretty good though. I've spent, like, no, I've done nothing in this game. I spent the first 30 minutes doing something silly, and then I've just spent the last... 42 minutes standing here beside those rock things, until I actually had decided to attack them. Oh, look at that sunflower, isn't that nice? Oh, I'm still glad they updated this game because oh, this game is definitely a game that needed an update. Like, I, when I first played this game, I thought, "Fuck, I wish they would update it." I didn't really think they would. They don't do that with a lot of games, do they? The last they did it with The Last of Us. Or I think they completely remade The Last of Us or something. I don't know. I'm getting confused. Uh, that's another game I haven't completed yet. The Last of Us Two. I was in the middle of that. It just stopped. I was kind of getting boring or something. It was actually getting boring. Not, not against lesbians or, or women in general, but it's just their conversation was... The, the chit-chat they were having between those two characters was just so boring. It was really girly-girly. It was just like, right, this is terribly boring. <laughs> Do you remember that time when I had my first kiss? It was like... Test. Needs to be destroyed. Do you remember that time when we went... When we went canoeing with Joel and he told us there was something happening and then there was something in the ocean and then something in the ocean jumped out at us and BOOM! And then she scares the other characters and the other characters are like, Oh, this is so scary, oh my god, let's have a lesbian makeup scene now! I don't know, it's just too girly girly for me. Like, The Last of Us 2. And then apparently he played the second half of the game as a completely different character. Like, apparently people don't like that either, I, I didn't get to that stage. It's a good game though, I guess. I don't know. I, I need to stop talking to you. I'm not, I, have you noticed that? I, I just keep walking around in a circle. I'm enjoying the graphics too much and the sound of my own voice. 
I need to stop talking here. Take this, take this path. Oh, okay. It will be the twenty, the thirty-first century, but it's how I complete this game. <laughs> Just like I, I take my time with lots of games, but judging by what I was like with Cyberpunk and what I'm still like with Cyberpunk, I still haven't. I'm, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure I'm half over halfway through the storyline, but there's still a good bit of stuff to do in Cyberpunk. So there is a good bit of stuff, and they've got new DLC coming. Thank God. Oh wait, that creature's getting further away from me. Uh. Oh no, I've forgotten the buttons. Ah! Drown dead. Oh, level 18. I should probably get away from that thing. I'll, I will save here. And then... I will try and fight it. I don't know if it will work. It's a level 18, I'm a level like it's 12, clear, 4. Clear. Wait a minute, it's working! It's doing it! I'm killing it! That's a level 18, it's going down pretty easily. get that much. Oh, I've got water essence. That allows me to build... I need to, one more water essence and then I can make that cat potion. Cat size thing. I do like this game. It, 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 I'm starting to enjoy it. It's like, I'm, I'm, like, I actually know what I need to pick up and why I'm... That's not true. I don't really know half the things I need to pick up, but I'm just saying I know that particular thing. It's like, oh yes, that's cool. That's cool that I know that. <laughs> I hate when you pick stuff in, up in games and you don't have a fucking clue what the hell they actually do. Okay, I did read though that compared to The Witcher 2, you don't really need to pick shit up as much. Like, there's a lot of shit I noticed in this game when I look for the inventory, or the alchemy, or whatever, I don't know. But, according to Witcher 2, there's not, according to something I read, there's not as much reason to actually use it. It's not as, you know, detrimental to the game. You don't need to, like, rub your sword with some kind of super oil or something to kill the, the bad guys. You can just you just kill them without doing that. Where in The Witcher 2, it was more like you had to plan your attack better or something. Which, I don't know, sometimes I do. I prefer the whole planning, especially if there's a lot of things. It's like, why why am I got those things if I'm not going to use them? On the other hand, sometimes I want to be casual. And, uh... Then there's a lot... You know, too many items is fucking just irritating, and it's off-putting. So far this game doesn't feel too bad, there's a lot of items, but it doesn't feel too overwhelming, like, especially since I don't really need to use half of them. I mean, look at all that stuff, that's a lot of stuff, like, what does any of that do? I do not know. Do I... But, I'm sure I'll figure it out as it comes along. Strong attacks cost him all of it. Oh, see, that sounds like something I would never use. Lasts longer than other mutant. It only works at dusk and dawn. And it implies a randomly, se a randomly selected sign, so you don't even get to pick which sign it is. See, that seems like over... See, that seems like overkill. You know, like, why are they adding these decons... Uh... I was getting at that guy for saying beastery wrong. Decon... Decon... De how, would, how would you say that word? Decon... Ah! <laughs> Deconcoction? Decoction? De the ox, the, spell it out. Syllables in it. The, oh, I don't know. I'm, st I'm still even hungover. <laughs> okay, I can't think straight. Uh, uh, there's another thing I noticed. I haven't. I just remembered that I haven't figured out yet. This 
is it the diagrams or something? Where do you go to get the diagrams? Wait, first of all, how do you work this pin for me? Formula diagram will now appear in shop panel. Okay. Increases sign intensity. Okay. I can make one of those if I want to. I should probably make those. I'll do it later. But I should probably make those so that they're over and done with. Oh, clear toxicity. That would be a good one. Well, I'll do that later. I'm getting I'm starting to get hungry here. Decontoxin. No, not decon. Decosh. No. No, I don't know how to say that. It looks like the auction. The auction. The... Eh. There's oil. Apply to a sword for additional effects in combat. Ten, ten attack bar versus cursed ones. Ten attack bar versus elemental. Or element. Ten type bar versus insectoids. Ten type bar versus necrophages. Ten type versus specters. Okay, so oil's a thing. But how do we cover? Don't use up all your plants, so I won't do it right now. That's another thing, beastery. I wanted to check what the fucking ne the necrophage is. Ah, okay. So those are all necrophages. Devil by the well. That must be just a very specific specter. I think it's a numerate. If I remember correctly, this had the same description as one of the other ones. No? Where's the dirty dress, all racks? No, it has a different description. I don't know if that one comes back up again, because it's specific. It's a specific ghost. Oh Jesus Christ! In some ways, this is a terrible time to be playing a game like this. My mom's in a grave right now, and I'm looking at pictures of a fucking dead woman with her tongue hanging out or something, I mean, Jesus. Sometimes I don't realize what I'm doing when I'm playing these games, how they remind me of the actual fears in my real life. You know, that's one thing that's been going through my head for 14 weeks now, is my mom's body's in a grave. She's never been in a grave until now. And then I'm sitting there what, looking at images of ghostly things. I don't, you know, like, it's, only, it's only a computer game, but... It does feel a little bit weird to not be phased by this. I'm looking at this and I'm not, it's not even phasing me. And it's like, shit, I feel guilty that it's not phasing me. Sometimes if I overthink it, it does phase me and then I start crying or something. The way I look at it is, it's a fucking computer game. I try not to picture my mom in the grave. I don't, I don't believe that's her body, so... I don't believe that's her mind. I believe her mind is something separate from her body. That's what I try to tell myself. So let's not think about this too much. I mean, it's just a computer game. But there is a lot of things in this world that, you know, it's hard to not, it's hard to get away from them. You know, like I've got a kind of fear against flames as well, to be honest. On the internet, I saw a guy burn to death. It was horrible. And, and yet, every fucking computer game has flames in it. And it's like, I just have to delete my memory, like just get over it, otherwise I won't be able to enjoy some of my favorite things. Some of my favorite things are just really gory, violent things, you know? Some of my favorite things in life are just violent games. And it's like, oh fuck, how am I supposed to enjoy them if I keep overthinking it? <clears throat> so, yeah. But yeah, I just, I just suddenly just realized there as I was looking at that with specters, it's like, oh my god, my mom's in the grave right now. It's amazing that people make jokes about death, but I don't think people make jokes about death as easily when they've just... I do improv, right? 
And it's amazing how every five seconds they're making a joke about a mother that died or something like that. And geez, it's like, they don't, they're a wee bit insensitive to not think like shit, does this guy know maybe not? Um, like there's another guy in my pro group that's mom and dad just died as well and they're still making jokes on stage about coffins and funerals and deaths and one of, one of the women in, that was making the joke was actually at my mom's funeral and I was wondering was she using my mom's funeral as a, as a way to help her improv scene? She was like, oh it was a good funeral though in the scene that she was doing, and I was like, was she thinking about my mom's funeral when she picked, when she created that random scene about a funeral? And it's like, is that a wee bit annoying? Because, you know, like, that's my mom we're talking about here. She might have used it as a way to help her with the improv scene. <clears throat> People just joke, jumping on the stage going, ah, so your mom is dead. Not to, they're not saying it to me, they're not saying it about me, but it's just, even the day my mom died, they were talking about a mother dying. Two hours before my mom died, I was at improv, and I don't go to improv a lot, like, and they were at improv, and they, as soon as I walked through the door, they were doing a scene about a mother dying. They must do scenes all the time about mothers dying, I swear to God, and I just didn't notice it until... The day my mom died, I was overly paranoid that she might die, because she just had a stroke, so I really noticed the mother scene, when as soon as I walked through the doors, I was like, boy, I really noticed that. You're talking about mothers dying here. And then two hours, my mom died. Two hours later. And they just must do scenes like that all the time. And I just didn't really pick up on it. I don't know what's the appeal about mothers dying and stuff every five fucking seconds. But that must be just something they do a lot. Can I figure out what I'm doing? Do you know what annoys me? I wasn't paying attention to where I found that rock. That rock. That drowner thingy. I'm going to have to look back to, through the recording to find out where that was, so I can put a little mark beside it. I like putting marks for any time I can find an enemy. Fuck sake. Well, that was definitely at least in the last 15 minutes. Okay, it wasn't too hard to find it. It was literally right... Oh my god, I'm right beside it. I haven't even moved that far from the location. I really, the next video I have, oh he's still there, I, I've moved. I was talking so much about shit there, about my mom and stuff, that I didn't even move that far away from the bad guy in the first place. I have to stop talking in the next video here, because I'm not doing, I'm not playing the game properly. This is turning into my another format for my mom diaries, a diary about my mom, which I'm trying to not make as many of those. Oh, what am I doing? Right, I guess I put the custom marker here. I suppose you can't zoom in further than that. Oh well. <clears throat> it actually helps. Oh, you know what? I've been I've been kind of retarded. <laughs> the question marks. I mean, the question marks. That's one thing I do like about this game. It is very easy to know where you're going. You just go to the question marks. Both. Well, I'll save that to the next video. Might be time to eat, I don't know. When did I put that pizza stuff on? There's no time just yet. Okay, I'll upload this. And then I think I'll just stop talking in this video.